X option, so you can't easily close them. To do so, you'll have to right-click and select Close Tab. They're also smaller than a normal tab, showing only an icon, so you won't see alert counts for websites like Twitter or Facebook. But, pinned tabs will help you stay a little more organized by taking up less space and keeping your more important tabs on the far left of your browser. I'm Melissa Aparicio, and that's your Tech Tip. This is Macworld Senior Editor Dan Morin. Safari is probably one of the most used apps on your iPad or iPhone, but there are a handful of little features that you might not have stumbled across. Here are just a few that can help you browse more powerfully and efficiently. You're scrolling through a lengthy article on the history of Prussia, as you do, trying to find a vaguely remembered fact about legendary Chancellor Otto von Bismarck, but it's just not popping to mind. To search a web page for some specific text, tap on the location bar and enter the term you want to find. Then scroll down to the bottom and find the On This Page heading. Safari will tell you how many matches there are for that text. Tap the entry and it will even let you quickly jump through them, highlighting each instance in yellow. We've all accidentally closed important tabs and not realized it until later. No sweat. Just tap and hold on the New Tab button in the toolbar and you'll get a pop-up menu listing all of your recently closed tabs. It's way faster than trying to get to Safari's history listing. Tap any of the tabs in this list to load them once again. If you've ever had tab proliferation strike, you know it can be a pain to go through and close all those sites one by one. Fortunately, there's an easier way. Tap on the location bar and then tap the private button just above the keyboard. You'll be prompted to either keep your current tabs or close them all. Tap close all and then tap private again to return to normal browsing. Voila, a fresh slate. Finally, a small but handy tip. I enjoy the webcomic XKCD, but usually at least half the joke is hidden in the caption text, also called the alt text. It used to be you had to go to a special mobile version of the site to view it on your phone or tablet, but starting in iOS 7, you can simply tap and hold on any image to bring up a pop-up that includes that extra text. There you have it, four ways to super...